459, and the Privateers shot 48%. Their starting lineup features some bigs who can pass the ball in Eric Thomas, McCurr Poe, and Traven Thibodeau. Christavius Gill, the point guard, will be sixth or seventh all-time in scoring in New Orleans if he stays healthy by the end of this his senior year. And they're under sixth-year head coach Mark Schlesinger. 11 years as a top assistant at Northwestern State in Louisiana. That included a pair of NCAA tournaments. Schlesinger, native of Bloomington, Indiana. And for Washington State, talked about Malachi Flynn. Of course, senior Ike Arebu also in the backcourt, 11 points per game. Charles Callison, the third guard who will start. And then you've got Connor Clifford in the middle. About seven points a game last year, asking more of it this season. 11 points, 3.1 rebounds per game with a seven-footer Clifford out of Huntington Beach, California. And the Cougs under Ernie Kent his third year. After two years with us at Pac-12 Network and 13 years as head coach at his alma mater, the University of Oregon. And he led them to Elite Eights in 2002 and 2007. Ernie hoping to build that same kind of team here at Washington State. Now, on Tuesday, told you that New Orleans beat Tulane. KO, they're a man-to-man -man team, but they used a zone on Tuesday to knock off a bigger school. What are they going to have to do today to beat Washington State? Well, I think you'll see Mark Schlesinger use some zone again today. I don't know as much as the last game. They played Tulane from the tip to the end of the game zone. 2-3, a little bit of matchup. I don't know if you'll see that much today, but you'll see some of it. Hoping to make Washington State shoot over top instead of going inside to their bigs. First ever meeting between New Orleans and Washington State. Officials Deldre Carr, Tim Marion, and Scott Brown, and we're underway. And this is Tevin Broyles bringing it up for New Orleans. Washington State starts man to man. Be interesting to see how New Orleans attacks. Dribble drive or get it inside. Trayvon Thibodeau, big man who's a good passer. Bakur Poe, native of the South Sudan. And seven on the timer with Thomas working against Ike Rebu. Mismatch now. Poe jump up. Air ball. Hawkinson caught it. Hawkinson already with a defensive rebound, averaging 10 and a half a game, second in the nation. He was second in the nation last year in defensive rebounds and led the nation as a sophomore two years ago in that category. He just has a nose for the ball. And I say this all the time, great rebounders like Hawkinson, the ball has a nose for him. It finds him. Hawkinson straight away. New Orleans would love him to take that shot all day long. Yes, they would. Having to gate the inside size of Washington State's front line. They're definitely bigger. Stronger and better on the front line. Mismatch with the Rebu guarding Thomas again. Second set, that's happened. Any way New Orleans can capitalize on that. Well, if I was New Orleans. And there's Traven Thibodeau hitting from 18. I'd have Traven Thibodeau shoot that shot. That's okay, would... good call, coach. <laughs> Nostradamus. <laughs> you got it. What New Orleans has to do is try to find some mismatches against those bigs to drive them. Hawkinson, this time from three, it wouldn't fall. Got the dish from his roommate, best friend, Ike Rebu. You see New Orleans, they're, they're methodical, they're disciplined, very well coached. They'll run offense to try to get great shots every time. Thibodeau's jump hook doesn't fall. Clifford the rebound, averaging just over three a game. Rebu all the way to the rack, blocked by Poe. Royals has it. Three on three, going to take it to the rack all the way, but dish it back out. This is Chris Davius Gill, the senior. If he stays healthy, he should be sixth all time in scoring at New Orleans by the time this season is done. He's got deep range. Flynn has to stay on it. Thibodeau to Thomas. Clifford try to draw the foul. Rebound, Thomas. Oh. Thomas went hard at that rim twice. Despite being outsized by four or five inches, he went right at the Washington State front line. What a great second jump here. Strong. No fear in him, that's for sure. 
First foul on either team goes against the seven footer, Connor Clifford. Eric Thomas averaging 21 points, seven rebounds a game. He is their top scorer, top rebounder. The first two games off the bench and has been starting ever since. When you're like New Orleans and you're playing a bye game where Washington State has probably paid them 90 or 100,000 to come here and lose, the only way you're going to win is take advantage of those free throws and every little thing that happens along the way. Play a perfect game. And an 82 percenter missed them both. Eric Thomas. Here's that New Orleans zone. A little 2-3 matchup. Malachi Flynn. He got Gill in the air and cans it. 27 three days ago for the freshman from Tacoma. Grew up watching Isaiah Thomas at UW and loving his game. What's not to love? Isaiah Thomas become one of the premier point guards in the NBA. Great view for the Celtics. And there's Thibodeau. Trevin Thibodeau, Mark Schlesinger describes him as a point forward. He makes a lot of things happen with drives, with shots, and with passing. Well, he's smaller and going to be able to drive Washington State's front line. Callison, Arebu. Callison picked up by Poe, and that leaves Cl left Clifford open underneath, but he traveled with the ball. This is what they need to do right here, Rich. Chippendale's got a quickness advantage on Hawkinson. Go right to the basket. Make those bigs move their feet. Now, Thibodeau's not a big by Pac-12 standards, but he is by Southland standards, and I think this front line could be pretty good for the privateers when they get into conference play. They will be in their league. They'll be matched up against similar-sized people. They have pretty good experience. they got three pretty good front-line players. New Orleans picked ninth in the Southland Conference. Lob underneath, and it hit the rim. It was intended for Thomas. Here's Flynn. Malachi with the left hand to the corner. Callison. Air ball. Gill has it. Gustavius Gill. Talk about deep range and he drains it. <laughs> he didn't hesitate a bit. That was like one Lonzo ball hit today at Kentucky that was a dagger late in that game. Callison on the drive. Foul before the shots. 15 24 to go. It is seven to two. How about the New Orleans Privateers and Christavius? In the fall, and that's a sacrificial record right there. Ten and fifty-two. Hawkinson getting one home from ten. I'd like to see him go to Josh Hawkinson a little bit more. He had twelve the other night against Utah Valley. That's his first bucket. Zone this time by Washington State. A uh, bank shot for Michael Zeno. Dead on. I don't know if he called it or not. Darian King? I'm certain he didn't. King with it right now. Here's a Rebu. Cougs continue to struggle from three point range. Now they are 0 of 4. Washington State has such an advantage on the inside with their front line. They can get that jump shot anytime. Just take your time and attack on the inside. Thibodeau, a little jump hook. King with a rebound. Finding a Rebu. Pick it out, Malachi Flynn. Wide open. Never be more open than that. Weak side board, Clifford, and he fights for the bucket. Much improved. In much better condition than he was last year. Dropped 20 or 30 pounds. Thomas is shot short. Flynn with a rebound. Pushing it up with a Rebu to his right. King to his left. He finds Darian. Picked up by Thibodeau. Hawkinson. One on one against Tevin Broyles. Advantage there. Thibodeau picks him up. Out of bounds. Back to Washington State. 12 14 left here in the first half. And Cooks trailing it by three. That's a great job by New Orleans to shrink the court up. Make it look crowded. Force Hawkinson into. Put it on the floor against two people instead of one. Luke's going a little smaller with Hawkinson and Clifford coming out. Jeff Pollard, a freshman into the game. Oh, boy. King for three. Got it. 
He had been just one for 15 over his last six games from three-point range. He didn't look shy at all, though. He dribbled right into it. If you're a shooter, you got to keep shooting, don't you, Coach? Absolutely. Thomas looking maybe to go high-low with McCurr Poe into the game. Rattles out for Zeno, but a put back up and in for Thomas. Thomas plays like a man at 6'5". Initial shot was missed, in fact, by George Rosa. Rosa now defending King. doing a great job of only giving up one shot. They got five guys gang rebounding. And on the offensive end, they're going every single time with their front line. Here's Zeno. Rosa cutting base to base. Zeno puts it up over Robert Franks. Arabia came down with an to Franks. Look out! Robert Franks with a flush. Rapo did a great job of heading eyes up the floor, giving the ball up on time and on target. 18th all time and assists per game at Washington State. Micah Rebu, a little more than 2.8 for his career, right about three assists a game this year. Poe against Pollard. Zeno. And now Thomas back to Zeno. On the drive against Pollard and Franks. Offensive foul, and Zeno can't believe it. Players can never believe it. Yeah, nobody ever did commit a foul, did they? If you it's ask them, it's always losing. Connor Clifford field goal percentage, free throw percentage. Charles Callison just under 95 percent at three point shooting. How about Malachi, Malachi Flynn, 52 percent? Though he's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Aaron King with it. He's hit the only three pointer for Washington State at six tries so far today. Pollard against Poe. Great ball movement. See what they get out of it. Callison double team left Franks open. He can hit this shot. It was straight, just a little bit long. Franks pretty good mid range game. That's good offense. That's the shot they wanted. Robert Franks is going to make more than half of those. It's part of the conversation on Twitter. Hashtag Pac 12 Hoops. Boyles against Callison. Rose directing some traffic as Thibodeau gets it now to Rosa. Seven on the timer for Thibodeau. New Orleans gets an awful lot of ball and player movement in that offense they run. A bank shot for three with the shot clock expiring and Callison's hand in his face. How about Broyles? That's so frustrating if you're watching the state because that's, that's straight lucky. That's all that is. Straight on, Callison. Royals came down with it. They're right back into their little spread offense. Taking some time off. Getting good player movement. Good sticking with a man. Five to shoot. Shot clock waiting again. Thibodeau this time knocks it down. He's made two of those already. Franks has got to close out and get in his airspace. Make that a difficult shot. He's got five. Poe came out to hedge the screen. Callison drives. Arebu against Thomas. Darian King. Air ball this time after he canned a three earlier. New Orleans leads by five. Okay, oh, I thought you said they paid him ninety to hundred thousand dollars to come in here and lose. They're not cooperating. I'm following the script. Rosa makes it a eight-point game. Refund? No refunds. No refunds. And timeout taken by Washington State. 
7.39 to go here in the first half, and New Orleans has come to play. George Rosa with a three. Eight unanswered. They'll break that down. Well, Ernie's telling his guys, it's kind of let the game come to you. He doesn't want to say that's a bad shot. He said, let the game come to you. Get this into this area. Don't be in a rush. Take your time. They've been rushed a little bit offensively thus far, especially in their shot selection. Boone shooting 35%, New Orleans 53%. Eight to shoot, Flynn handling it, defended by Gill, now Callison. Clifford fall away from 12. Rebound Thomas. A 2-3 zone is really bothering Washington State right now. They got to get the ball inside, get, the, get it in the paint on the dribble, the pass, or the rebound. The more you get it in the red, the better your chances are of breaking that zone. Find some way to get it inside, and you can shoot from there or dish it out, huh? Correct. Collapse the zone. Teardrop from Chris Davius Gill, and it's a 10-point New Orleans lead. Nine times out of ten, ten, Rich, the team that gets the ball in the paint the most on offense wins the game. See so what the Cougs can do to do that. That with Biggs back in the game and Hawkinson and Clifford. Callison from 15. Rebound, Broyles. Royals one on three, kicking out to Gill. NBA three plus, and he hits it. Privateers doubling up on the Cougs right now. And they're playing with great energy. They've got a great game plan. Got a held ball, and the arrow points the way of the Cougs. Washington State has not scored in the last four minutes and 29 seconds. This is a great kickout pass, and that's deep. Veteran point guard knows what he's doing. Arabu's shot rattles out. Washington State now one of nine from three point range. Now almost five minutes for Washington State without scoring. This time, Gill misfires. Has a little bit of a heat check. Had people draped all over him. Arebu picked up by Gill. Ducks underneath the screen. Arebu scooped to the hoop. Got it. 4.57 for Washington State without scoring. First two for Ike Arebu. Ike did a great job of sizing his man up one-on-one. -on -one. He's quicker than most players. Put his head down, got all the way to the rim. And then New Orleans inexplicably touchdown pass. I thought it was the Saints. Flew out of bounds at the other end. Washington State's got to take advantage of this. Back-to-back -back baskets. Fifth turnover for New Orleans. Washington State has two. Is Frank to put it up from out there occasionally? Poe picked him up. Back door underneath the Ray Boo. Reverse lay it in. Great play by Franks to get in the paint. Arabo read the pressure by his man. Back cut, easy basket. Back to back buckets for Arabo, accounting for all four of his points in the game. Timeout taken by Mark Schlesinger with the uh, Privateers lead trim to nine. Nice pass by Franks. And New Orleans isn't big as Arabo. They find similar benefits to what Bryce Alford is finding at UCLA playing yeah. off the ball, huh? Well, Lonzo Ball's making it easy for everybody. What a game they played today. Really impressed with UCLA's ball movement. And how about this? The Bruins played some defense in their win over top-ranked Kentucky. Washington State's trying to trap out of their zone a little bit. Try to speed New Orleans up. I think the win at Kentucky by UCLA... It's the best win in the Pac-12 in the last 10 years. That's a and that's Sam's up win. KO. Yeah, there's been a lot of good wins. That's a huge win for Steve Alford and his program. This underneath Flynn to Franks. Robin Franks. 
Freshman to a sophomore right there. He's got four. And the Cooch back within seven. It was a year ago today that the Bruins beat the Wildcats at Pauly. But then they go into rut. A lot different. And, and, the, and they're the number one team in the country. And the most points ever allowed by Kentucky under Calipari yeah. at rut. And it would have been a lot more if they had five or six turnovers at the end. It would have been at least three throws if Kentucky would have had to foul. Yeah, they almost gave it up. Great ball movement. There's a shot clock waiting. Almost banked another one in. Cougs on a 6 nothing run to get back within seven. Fans and, you know. And not rightfully so. No, I don't think so at all. But there's, you know, a certain pressure that comes with UCLA. They want to be Kentucky. They want to be Kansas. And that's a great win for Steve Alford, his staff, and his players and his program. Really impressed with the rebounding of T.J. Leaf. Well, T.J. Leaf and Lonzo Ball, they are both big time. Arebu, second three for Washington State. They hit one of their first nine, and Ike has seven points. That's what Ike's going to do. Be patient. Let Malachi Flynn bring the ball to him, and then be ready to shoot and knock down open shots. Oh, looking to go high low, but right now Thomas being fronted by Hawkinson. Franks picks up Thomas. Royals lost it. Hawkinson ahead to Arebu. He's got Langston on his left. Arebu draws the block. Fouls on George Rosa, his first. They're just a little play right there. Josh Hawkinson, great touch on the pass. To lead Arebu down the floor, give him an opportunity to get to the basket. Cougars on a 9 0 run the last two and a half minutes. They had gone almost five full minutes without scoring. Now it's been three and a half minutes for the privateers without scoring. By the way, privateer KO, if you're pirates and you're hired by a government in war to serve for you, that's what a privateer is. I wouldn't have known that. Sounds like a good job. Good work if you can get it, huh? Probably pays well. Gill finding Rosa over Flynn. Weak side board, Poe, second opportunity. Under two and a half to go here in the first half with Coops back within four. On a 9 nothing run. Washington State, same with the zone, looking to trap a little bit on the wings. Try to disrupt New Orleans offense. Gill trying to get it to the middle. Hawkinson ahead to his buddy, Arabu, blocked by Poe. He had five blocks in one game at Oklahoma State back on November the 16th. That is an awesome recovery by Poe. Arabo was ahead of him. He ran him down and did a great job of not goaltending, just getting the block. Love to Poe, and he puts it in. He wanted to jam it, but didn't quite have the height. That's his first bucket. Hawkinson jump hook off the glass. He's only got four to go along with two rebounds. Just about pencil him in for 16 and 11, can't you? No question. That's where Washington State needs to go. To Hawkinson in the post. Establish him. Run the offense through him. Don't settle for jump shots. You can get those anytime. Frank's in at the post along with Hawkinson. With Clifford out of the game right now for Washington State. Eight to shoot off Hawkinson. New Orleans to inbound it, leading it by four. I like how New Orleans has approached the game. They're tempoing a little bit on offense. Defensively, they're mixing it up between man and zone. They're not going to make it easy on Washington State. Royals trying to draw a foul as much as anything else. Didn't do it. Now Flynn. Langston up there with him. Flynn lost it. Rosa has it. Under a minute to go now in the first half. When you try to drive it one on multiple people, whether it's two, three, or four, unless you're a superstar player, Kevin Durant style, it's not going to end well for you. Right. You're going to have to get lucky. Live underneath. Thomas, a jam from Broyles. 
Mark Schlesinger did a great job. He saw that the back man on the zone was pulling very high on the wing. Called a special. Through the lob over top. Four assists for Broyles, averaging three a game. Rib is fouled. It's against George Rosa. That's his second. So the privateers back up by six. Right here, the Franks is high up on the court. They screen him from behind. And a great throw over top. Flynn as the Cougs play for the last shot. Ball screen by Hawkinson. Hawkinson long two. Got it. Get him involved. Didn't get it off in time. So it's a four point New Orleans lead at halftime. Certainly could have been worse for the Cougars. They trail at one point, 26 to 13. And you're right, KO. They got to get that guy on the right involved. Rebounds again. Well, what Washington State has to do in the first five minutes is set a tone of physicality, not just rebounding-wise, but on the defensive end and offensively get the ball in the paint and attack this New Orleans zone or man, whichever it is. All right, five minutes. We'll keep an eye on it underneath. The lob finds its way to Thibodeau, who puts it in. Got it over Hopkinson. Not the start you'd want. Washington State will have it with... 26 on the timer. Rich Burke along with Kevin O'Neill. There's Beasley Coliseum in Pullman. We'll be back here on the 21st when Washington State takes on Sac State. Lots of work to be done for the Cougs between now and then. Of course, you have the game on Wednesday against Idaho. Then a week from today, they'll be at the Sprint Center at Kansas City to take on K-State. K.J. Langston over Thomas. Pull with the rebound. It's interesting, Ernie Kinn has started Robert Franks in the second half. And K.J. Langston. Looking for a little more quickness, a little more athleticism. Langston play on Wednesday against Utah Valley. Thomas picked up by K.J. Thibodeau looking to go to Poe. He gets it to him. A curve Poe could finish. That's what I like about Franks. He can dribble, pass, shoot. Regardless of size, he plays like a guard. Lynn out of Frank to Franks, and now Hawkinson taking the ball on the drive. Talking about a big guy playing like a guard. How about Hawkinson? The more he touches, the better they're going to play. He's got eight points now. Hawkinson with three rebounds. was 12th in the nation last year at double doubles. He had 20 matching his school record from his sophomore year, Josh Hawkinson. Kick ball by KJ Langston. 15 foot on the timer. This makes Hawkinson really dangerous. He's 6'10, he can catch on the floor, get by anybody. Quickness is a little deceiving, and his athleticism is deceiving. Eight points, three rebounds so far. Darian King into the game as K.J. Langston comes out for Washington State. King hit a three in that first half. Then air ball the next one. Washington State's got to try to get control of this game with their defense and rebounding. And attack New Orleans. Don't be on their heels. Long three for Thibodeau with the shot clock waning. And on the rebound, a foul. And it's called against McCurr Poe. That's his first. I know Mark Schlesinger wasn't happy with that shot. He would have liked something toward the basket, especially with the clock running down. And it goes without saying he's not happy with the call. There's Flint with it against Gill. Freshman against a senior. Ray Boudreaux on Broyles. Raby directing some traffic. Hawkinson. One-on-one -on -one against Thibodeau. Hawkinson jump hook. Poe with the board. Great job by Thibodeau to brace up, hold his position, and make Hawkinson shoot over him. 
Thomas against Darian King. Eric Thomas born in Argentina where his dad is playing professionally. Thibodeau finding Thomas. Drive on King, picked up by Franks. Rebound Darian King. Averages four and a half a game. Lobbed at Hawkinson. Off him, turnover, Washington State. They had just three of those in the first half. Just not a good decision. I like the idea, but that's a tough play to catch. Gill's three rattles out and back in. His third three-pointer of the game, Chris Stavius Gill. He's got 11. Franks goes up, gets fouled by McCurr Poe, his second. Somebody's got to figure out. This is a three-point shooter. That's his third. He made one from Spokane. You got to be up on it. Make him put it on the floor. No way should he get an open three. Gil, 34% for three-point range. Foul was given to Trayvon Thibodeau, his first. So Poe still with one. And one more for Robert Franks. Franks looks like he has a good future ahead of him. Yeah, Elder Drew Kastner on the broadcast the other night. All right. Friend of Pac-12 Networks was talking about how he has an NBA-ready body right now. I don't know if I go that far. Well, you can you can do that out with him when you're in studio together. How's that? <laughs> Thibodeau against Franks picked up on the double team. Flynn goes out to get Gill. Left Thomas open, and Thomas cans alone too. He's got eight points. Great offense by New Orleans. Side, top, side. Tack the paint. Once you get to the paint, something good is going to happen. They go back up by eight. They led by as many as 13 in the first half. Franks, three-pointer. Knocks it down. Robert Franks. And he hits his sixth three-pointer in 12 attempts this year. He's got eight. I just think he's got a skill set and athletic ability. That once he has a great, great summer between his sophomore and junior year, he'll have to be a premier player for them next year with all these seniors leaving. Hawkinson leaving, Clifford leaving, Arebu leaving, Callison. Thibodeau of a nice dish from Chris Davius Gill. That was an amazing catch. He's got 10 points now. The other end came too strong to drive. Royals pushing. He must have closed his eyes on that one. <laughs> Royals got a foul, but put back up and in. Eric Thomas. And they go to the free throw line. First foul on Franks. How about this? This is New Orleans right here. Ten rebounds, and he's going to go to the free throw line. He had to try to cap a three-point play and get his team up by double digits. Thomas is high energy. Plays hard both ends, every possession. For an undersized forward, gets a lot done. His sister, Saisha, played basketball at Oregon State 15 years ago. Allison against Broyles. He's trailing it by 10 here. Trail by four at halftime. Well, five minutes are gone now, KO, and Washington State has not done what you said they should do. And take command of this game physically inside. Got to give it to Josh Hawkinson. Got to get him involved. Having a tough time doing it. Being fronted by Poe right now. Franks blocked by Thomas. Shot clock violation. And if you're New Orleans, you got to think, let him play on. Oh, it's a foul. Oh, my. It's a foul. That's against Poe. It's his second. Talk about a fail. It's, a, it's actually not a foul. Mark Schlesinger, he's on the ground. Ooh. I'm not sure about that one. It is a foul. No, I mean, it's, they call it called a foul. Shouldn't have been a foul, right? Yeah. Let's, let's see right here, Franks. Franks. 
so if that foul was on Poe, as they said, it was underneath against Hawkinson as the shot went up. So the foul's got to be against Thomas if it's Franks going to the line. Everyone's confused. I think the officials are confused. They're going to the dreaded. Now, this isn't a foul. That's a block shot. They're going to the dreaded monitor. We might be here till. Apparently, they're looking to see if it's a two pointer or a three pointer, which would mean the foul would be not on Poe, and that didn't make any sense anyway with Franks going to the free throw line, but the foul would be on Thomas. But this doesn't look like a foul, KO. It's not a foul. He flies by him, he never touches him, it's all ball. That's... So not only is he fouled, but fouled shooting a three-pointer. I think the officials in this league are very good and very credible. That's a mistake. Not even close. No bump of the elbow there? No. Not once he hit the, not once he hit the ball. Mark Schlesinger was told by the official, stay in your area. He towed up that line right next to his feet. Like he was towing the free throw line. And stood there yelling. Mark can't be very happy about that. Mark Schlesinger, former assistant of yours at camps when you were head coach at the University of Tennessee. I've known Mark, Mark for years. Yeah. Good basketball man. Done a great job at New Orleans. And this team right here is, they're playing hard. They got a plan. They're following the plan. Schlesinger, uh, along with some of his team, Wearing wristbands with Team Gleason on them. Steve Gleason, Spokane native, former WSU football player. Played for the New Orleans Saints for about eight years, up to about a decade ago. Gill on the drive. And he counts. Christavius Gill. Foul of Malachi Flynn, his first. Malachi Flynn, freshman, kind of relaxes a little bit. Gill, a senior, sees that, takes advantage, turns the corner. Going for the three-point play the hard way. Missed a free throw. Just this Gill, just 52% on free throws this year at 83% of the last year. He should have backed up and shot it from six feet outside the three. <laughs> Foul call against Poe. That's his second. Washington State needs to, to make a move. They need to cut into this lead. The longer New Orleans leads and plays confidently, the more confident they're going to become. And a good job of shutting down Josh Hawkinson, who's out of the game right now, along with Connor Clifford. Flynn all the way, scoop to the hoop. Malachi Flynn. Just his second bucket. He's got four. Malachi needs strength. He needs experience. He needs time. But he's got all the qualities and skills to be a really fine point guard. With those great freshmen of the conference like Lonzo Ball, Charlie Moore at Cal. Markel Fultz at Washington. Got some one and duns there. That won't be Malachi Flynn. Lob underneath, picked off by Ike Arabia. So Flynn's going to have some time to develop for the Cougs. Well, he doesn't really because they need him right now. Franks with the left hand from 10 feet. That's impressive. He's got 12 points. And timeout taken by New Orleans. Cougs have cut it to six. 13.09 to go here. And Beasley Coliseum in Pullman, who's trying to fight their way back in against the privateers of New Orleans. Media poll, and how about Colorado predicted to finish dead last in the South? They won the South, but they lost big to Washington in last night's Pac-12 championship game. Coach, you can't keep the Huskies out of 
the national playoffs well, I don't, this year. I don't know a thing about football, and I don't know any of the people that are on that selection committee. But anytime it's a subjective decision, you never know what could happen. They should be in. What's interesting is how many people here in Pullman were rooting for the Huskies last night. I'm sure. It, uh, it gets the Cougs a better bowl game if the Huskies are in that national playoff. I bet they will. Colorado up to the Rose Bowl. And it would uh, put the Cougs in the Holiday Bowl. I bet they weren't really rooting for him either, Rich. Well, they're pretending to root. They'd rather die than root for Washington. I was out for dinner, and I saw lots of people wearing crimson and gray cheering when the Huskies went up big. Now, not everybody. Here's a rainbow on the drive. Reverse laying up and in. At the other end, Broyles trying to do likewise, and he is fouled. Tevin Broyles, he's got five points. That's a shame. Great play by Arebu, but on a made basket to give up a straight end-to-end drive for a three-point play is unforgivable. Ernie Ken has to be quite upset. That's one on five. You gotta see the ball. You gotta, you gotta know. You gotta run back, sprint back. It's too hard to, to get easy baskets like Ike Arebu had for the layup. They just give it up and might lose a point out of the exchange. And it's a momentum killer. Well, totally. that happened to UCLA in the first half today at Kentucky. And Kentucky actually had a lead early on. UCLA would make a bucket. Kentucky would pull the ball out of the hoop and still get a fast break bucket. Right. And the Bruins figured it out. Let's see if Washington State can as well. New Orleans has jumped back into their 2-3 matchup, and they're playing very aggressively. Callison, Hawkinson. Josh Hawkinson, 4 of 9 now from the field, and has just three rebounds. It doesn't look to me like New Orleans is going to go away easily. I think I said this to you when we worked before earlier this year, but it's like Rocky's trainer. They don't know it's a show. They think it's a fight. Privateers by nine. On the offensive board, and the fact that Washington State settled for a few too many jump shots has kept them from having a bigger advantage than they, you know, being tied at 24-24. They're not happy with that. Hawkinson, eight points overall. Clifford, just four. He's back in the game. Thibodeau pass, backdoor, Broyles. What a great play by Thibodeau to get in the paint, read that back cut. And now they jump back in their zone again. They're just way more aggressive on the perimeter than they were earlier in the game. Robertiers by 11. 12 to shoot for the Cougs. Extra pass, Callison for three. More than any of that. Big time. His first bucket. Callison, averaging nine points a game. Average just under eight last year. Callison defending Broyles. Now Gill gives some space. Out of bounds. Back to the Privateers. Pretty good back to him. Oh, here's a great look by Thibodeau to get in the paint. See his teammate back cut it and lay it right on his hands for an easy basket. Dip it over the right now. His coach describes him as a point forward, a strong voice directing some traffic. Finding Thomas against Clifford. Thomas fumbled it, but finds a way to reverse it home. That's two possessions in a row that Thibodeau has made the play for a teammate for an easy basket. I know Mark Schlesinger would like to see Thibodeau play with a little more energy. But they're passing it out, and Arebu is out of bounds. So who's going to step up and make those plays for Washington State? Well, you know, Josh Hawkinson is uh, the logical person to do that. But he's not getting enough touches on the inside to make him effective. So Malachi Flynn is going to have to get 
some penetration and get some easy baskets for his teammates. Turnover on Thibodeau and New Orleans, and Thomas pointed at himself as if to say, my bad. Nine turnovers now for the privateers. Bernie Kent's kind of searching for a combo that'll you know, give him a little spark defensively. Get a few easy baskets offensively. They need a mini run here to make New Orleans feel a little pressure. Right now, they're not feeling any pressure. They're just playing. Comes a little smaller as King has replaced Clifford. Glenn wanted that lob to Hawkinson, but they continue to play great D on Hawkinson. Traveling violation, another turnover on Washington State. That's a six. Coons averaging 14 and a half turnovers a game. That hadn't been the problem. Now they're they're struggling defensively and they're not getting enough paint, paint touches right now. And as you know, Richard, you don't get stops, you can't get fast breaks. And Ernie Kent's teams have always been great in the open court. Thibodeau, tipped by Zeno. Thibodeau, third opportunity for the privateers. Privateers are taking the game to Washington State right now. They've exerted their will, haven't they? Their physicality on the front line has been the difference in the game. Went with a reach in, no foul. Need to shoot, kick it back outside. Michael Zeno, weak side board, Boyles. Fourth chance, this time down the floor. This is a Good long goal. possession to be on defense for Washington State. They'll be down by 10, under nine to go. I'll be surprised if Washington State doesn't make a mistake and give up an easy basket. Because they've been defending for they've so been, long. They've been on, on defense for almost 80 seconds. <laughs> Christavius Gill. Well, I was wrong. Right. It wasn't easy. <laughs> That's deep. Easy for him. He's got 16. They shoot from the proverbial bus step. And Hawkinson gets fouled. That's against Thomas, his first. Look how deep he is. Oh, he's deep. I always used to tell guys, if he can see the rim, he can shoot it. I mean, <laughs> Stay on him. you got to take the three out of the game, especially late in possessions. For somebody to try to make a playoff a dribble, it's much harder in college than pulling up and shooting a three. Hawkinson shooting at 84% from the line this year, missed the first. That was the second foul on Thomas. Played football here at Washington State, and five years ago announced he was battling ALS. Lou Gehrig's disease. He has a foundation, teamgleason.org. And, of course, he played in New Orleans for the Saints for about seven or eight seasons, ending about a decade ago. And there's a turnover on the Privateers. Good call by Ernie Kent to trap on the first pass. Out of the timeout and force a turnover. And do something to change the pace of this game. Otherwise, New Orleans is going to... Take their time, make them work on the defensive end. Seven and a half to go now. Privateers lead it by a dozen. I think he's going to shoot this. He's got Hawk on him. Now they double team again. Thibodeau shoots from deep with the shot clock waning. Callis in the rebound. He's got Franks on his left. He finds it. And Franks gets fouled. Frank's already with a career high 12. There's Mark Schlesinger, who's wearing a team police and wristband right now. Mark certainly had his team prepared, following the game plan. Now the 13. That was the first foul on Chris Davius Gill. Robert Franks has a tremendous upside. Long arms, athletic, soft hands, excellent skill. Full court pressure now by Washington State. One, two, two, three quarter court trap. Trying to get one or two traps. Royals finds the angle to Gill. 
There's that trap out of the zone. Deal underneath the boils. That's how you beat that trap. The danger of trapping is if you don't rotate to the basket and you get stretched out on the backside, you can give up a layup. Back that was Thibodeau on the assist. His third. Thibodeau's done a heck of a job finding his teammates. Arabu misfires on the rebound. We got a foul called against Franks. That's two on him. Everything going the way of New Orleans. Well, KO is good as the win for UCLA was against Kentucky. This would be a bad loss for the Pac-12 against the team picked ninth in the Southland Conference. That's why they play the games. You never know where people are picked or what can happen on any given day in basketball. Stephen oh, M. Austin. Oh. <laughs> Kill. <laughs> Finally missed one from way deep. What a great hustle play to get back. Misses the, shot. It. Misses the shot, not disappointed. A lot of times players get disappointed or complain to the official. He ran back and saved, giving up a breakaway layup to Hawkinson. Go from Alexandria, Louisiana. Stephen F. Austin has won four straight Southland Conference titles, but picked second in the coaches poll to Sam Houston State this year. And again, the league is a good league. A lot of good basketball coaches in that league. Coach Burke, along with Kevin O'Neill, and knows everybody in the coaching community. Here's Franks over Gill. Now rattles out. Nothing going Washington State's way. I think we're going to see Washington State trapping anytime the ball goes to the wing. They're in a 2 3 zone. They're set up to trap. There it is. There it is. And that's what happens if you don't rotate correctly on the back side of that. Royals you, to Thibodeau. When you got two on the ball in any trap at any point on the court, you got to have three others protecting the rim. And Washington State got spread out and gave up a layup twice in a row. That's probably what Ernie Kent wants to talk about right now. Yeah, we're going to see it right here. 39 seconds without a field goal for Washington State. Yeah, they need a they need a score stop score right here. Try to put a little dent in this lead. Ernie Kent's team will take on Idaho on Wednesday, 7 o'clock here on Pac-12 Network. They did a week from today at the Sprint Center in Kansas City against K-State. Franks underneath. He's got 15 now. I really like Franks. He's somebody to invest some time in if you're on the Washington State coaching staff. He's going to get better. He has the potential to be a really, really good player. Sophomore this year. Cougs are back man to man out of the trapping. Foul called against Washington State. Cougar players claiming that Thibodeau had an arm bar on the drive. Foul against Darian Sheen. I'm not sure where Thibodeau thought he was going with that. He, he was headed directly for the baseline. No angle to the basket. He could have ended up up the tunnel if he'd have kept going. They'll all be up the tunnel with a victory if Washington State doesn't do something here in the next 445. When New Orleans doesn't appear to me, they're going to cave in. Washington State's going to have to earn it. Hawkinson defending McCurr Poe. Rolls it inside of Thomas over KJ Langston. But a foul on the rebound. And that's called against Thibodeau. That was great action by New Orleans. They got the shot they wanted. Just kind of burped it up there and it went over the basket. And the last thing you want to do right now if you're New Orleans is foul over the back on a missed shot. Stops the clock. Gives Washington State an opportunity to score points without burning any time. Hawkinson, 84% are coming in. One of two today. If Hawkinson stays healthy. Break Steve Padaka's school record for rebounds. Need to average nine rebounds a game to do that. Makes it close. 
Washington State man to man. They need some stops desperately. Got a foul underneath. I think KJ Langston and Eric Thomas going at it. And that is against Langston, his first. I really like Thomas's game. Undersized forward. Tough, hard nosed. Eric Thomas standing at the right elbow right now. Played at two junior colleges his second year now at New Orleans. And a held ball, and it goes to the Cougars. Mark Schlesinger can't be happy with that play. All you gotta do is get it in and run some more clock. He just got fouled. A little pressure now by New Orleans. They're making it difficult for Washington State to settle in. Darian King, Arebu now. Frank's being fronted underneath by Poe and a takeaway for New Orleans. Oh my. And Thomas turns it right back over. That's 12 turnovers now for the Privateers, but they still lead by 10. 3.50 to go. He can pull it from deep. He can score in the paint. He's been outstanding from beginning to end tonight. Look at this one. Put him in a position to try to win the game. His foot was on the logo at midcourt when he shot the ball. If you can see the rim, you can take the shot. <laughs> Rebound Poe. Looker Poe with seven rebounds. Eric Thomas already was a double double, 13 points, 10 boards for New Orleans. Meanwhile, Josh Hawkinson, who he just about right into the books for a double double, has 11 points, only three rebounds. New Orleans doing a great job of running clock and now got to attack the basket. Another paint catch and score. With only two on the timer, KO. Couldn't draw it up any better than that. Washington State has had difficulty getting the ball inside all game long. Here's Frank for three. Rebound Thibodeau. Favorite Thibodeau, 14 points now, four boards. Go along with three assists. New Orleans is going to be happy to run clock. Just like they did last possession, take it all the way down. But can you talk about Southland Conference being a good conference with good coaches? Gill. Rebound Thibodeau, second opportunity. That's a man's run. rebound right there. Yes, it is. They're going to run some more clock off. If this is the ninth place team, that is a good conference. Well, they're not going to finish ninth. You know, the the pundits, is that what they call them now? Media? Yeah. yeah. They do the picking. Why you say the coaches hey, pull. That was a coaches pull. Wow. Now, three minutes and nine seconds for Washington State without a field goal. They have just seven in the second half. Ernie Kent can't be happy. I mean, I, I've been in these situations where you're losing a bye game at home. The first thing you want to know is who the hell scheduled this game? <laughs> Ernie's been here three years. <laughs> By saying there's somebody on your staff that's doing the schedule, what I'd be doing right now is I'd be ripping him to shreds over <laughs> on the bench. Afterwards, maybe put him in a stranglehold and then figure out from there what we're going to do. Franks got in the air, got over a barrel, tried to dish it off, and turns it over. That's nine turnovers on the Cougs. Frustration play, trying to do a little too much. Only 13 field goal attempts in the second half for Washington State. Well, what New Orleans has, they have... Five guys that can all handle the ball and pass and shoot and cut. And that's very difficult to guard. 
especially if two of the positions, the four and the five, they have a decided athletic and quickness advantage at. It makes it difficult to guard them. Thibodeau now with 15 points. Thibodeau's played very, very well. Not sure who taught him that free throw, but it works. Rainbow. Washington State beat a good Utah Valley team three days ago, a team that had beaten BYU. It's basketball, you never know who's going to beat who. Like a Still trailing about 14, minute 22 to go, and they take a timeout. At this point, KO, what are you talking to your team about? I'd be versus cancer. And the auction item on the docket at the time was a chance to be a vandal for a day. Bidding was at $400, and suddenly bidding went to 2000 Don Berlin, the head coach of Idaho, said, who did that? It was Ernie Kent who bought a chance to be a vandal for a day. He'll spend the first play of the game on Wednesday on the bench. Eric Thomas to the bucket. That's a great story. That is... That is awesome. Glenn misfires. Washington State only 17 rebounds. Last time they had fewer than 20 was in 2009. Another transition bucket for New Orleans, and they're just having fun now with under a minute to go. It's a big win. Right now, don't foul. Nobody foul. Game's over, running time. Hawkinson's going to fall far short of a double-double. That's just four rebounds. Thibodeau slows it down. It's a big win for New Orleans. Oh, huge. Out. I mean, back-to-back, -back they, they beat Tulane, who's a division up from them. And now they come in and beat a Power 5 school on the road. This is a big day. Slash will be drinking big beers today. Celebrating. Flynn. Flynn from Gill Ranch. Pockets him with a putback. He's got 13 now. Big win for New Orleans here at Beasley Coliseum in Pullman. Reverberations throughout the Southland Conference. As after losing big at USC 11 days ago, 88-54, New Orleans with a 16-point win over Washington State here in Pullman. Full credit to Mark Schlesinger's team. They were prepared. They had a game plan. They wanted to tempo offensively, change up defensively, 